Welcome back to the channel, folks. This is Jason, Certified Financial Planner and host of Fighting Words Financial. Today, folks, I've got an exciting video lined up for you. Of all the wonderful and crazy accomplishments of the 21st century, one of the most compelling is the prospect of gene editing. Now, I know that this channel uh, got started and really you know, exploded based on my interest in EVs, but I have to be honest with you, I'm actually far more interested in the genomic revolution than I am in you know, a, car a carbon neutral future or the EV revolution. It's just a little bit harder to cover this on a YouTube channel because it's a little bit harder to understand. But hey, I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, So I think some of you may not have heard of this term, uh, you know, gene editing, but I think a lot of you probably have. Gene editing, as the name suggests, refers to the process of genetically modifying living organisms from single cell bacteria all the way up to human beings themselves. This process really could one day open up limitless possibilities for humanity from curing diseases to changing people's appearance to extending our lifetimes far beyond what they are now. And of course, one of the companies that's leading the way when it comes to this amazing gene editing process is CRISPR Therapeutics. So in this video, folks, I'm gonna give you a rundown of CRISPR themselves, their company, and I'm gonna discuss the technology and how they employ it and how it can impact our lives in the future. I'm essentially going to try to give you the information that you need as an investor to understand this company. I'll also take a look at CRISPR's prospects in financial terms, diving into the numbers a little bit to find out whether or not they represent a good investment. So as always, folks, sit back, grab a beer, and let's dig in. So what is CRISPR the company? CRISPR Therapeutics was founded back in 2013 by a group of doctors and, well, let's just call them revolutionaries, who envisioned using genetic engineering to create medical therapies. Two of the company's founders, Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier, really rocked the world back in 2012 when they published a paper which detailed their unbelievable findings that the CRISPR-Cas9 technology could be used to modify the DNA of living organisms. So one of the most common questions asked about the genomic revolution is, of course, what is the CRISPR-Cas9 process? Now, I'm going to explain, but let me slip in a little disclaimer here. I'm not a geneticist by any means, so if anyone out there involved in the field is watching this video, please don't crucify me, but feel free to correct any mistakes I make in the comments below. I'd be happy to learn from you. CRISPR-Cas9, sometimes referred to just as CRISPR, is a type of technology that allows geneticists and medical personnel to edit parts of the genome of living creatures. This editing can be done by removing, adding, or even changing parts of a DNA sequence. In terms of how the whole gene editing process works, it involves two key molecules, Cas9 and RNA. Cas9 is a special type of enzyme that allows geneticists to cut the DNA strands of any organism, meaning that they can add or remove bits of DNA to achieve a specific result. This process actually originated from a study that was done on the immune systems of bacteria. One of the best ways to visualize Cas9 is to think of it as a fancy pair of scissors. Now, in those studies that I mentioned before about bacterial immune systems, it was noted that when viral DNA was injected into a bacterial cell, it was the Cas9 enzyme that would cut the, you know, the, basically the ribbon of DNA that made up the virus and would render it inoperable. The other important molecule that helps in this gene editing process is RNA, and specifically something called guide RNA. This helpful piece of RNA guides the Cas9 enzyme to the correct part of the DNA strand because we don't want to cut the wrong part of the DNA strand. That certainly wouldn't be good. Once the DNA strand has been cut and the specific alterations to the DNA are made by the geneticist, that particular cell that's being worked on realizes that it's been changed and begins to repair itself. Now here's the super cool part. When this cell starts to repair itself, that's when the mutation occurs. And no, I'm not talking about something like this or even something like the X-Men type of mutations. In this context, mutation just means a change in DNA. And it's this change in DNA that creates those endless possibilities that I was talking about before in relation to CRISPR technology. There are so many potential ways that CRISPR technology can be used and so much to cover that we need not just a whole other video to scratch the surface, but hours and hours of video to talk about all of the different possibilities with this technology. But some of the main ones that seem to draw the most attention here are the potential uses in regards to treating cancer, HIV, and heart disease. Also, CRISPR may allow the creation of a whole new generation of foods that are genetically modified to be allergen free. Finally, there's even scope to modify the genome of unborn babies, allowing for specific appearance characteristics to be implanted 
and therefore leading to the term designer babies. Now, aside from all the ethical and moral concerns about using CRISPR technology for things like this, it just highlights the incredible possibilities that could come to fruition sometime in the near future. So what is CRISPR Therapeutics doing today? So if we circle back around to CRISPR Therapeutics, the company, they've been exploring the potential uses for this incredible technology over the past seven years, both commercially and in terms of advanced research. CRISPR Therapeutics currently has multiple drugs in development that are based on elements of CRISPR technology. These drugs involve potential treatments for blood disorders like sickle cell disease, and also potential treatments for various types of cancer. In addition to these drugs, the company is also conducting clinical trials in the areas of stem cell research, which hold incredible possibilities to improve the treatments for various types of ailments. Stem cell research is all about regenerating lost tissue, which tends to happen with old age, disease, or damage. CRISPR Therapeutics is currently looking at the applications that CRISPR technology can have in the field of stem cell therapy and whether or not there's scope to develop treatments that can regenerate lost tissue and treat a wide range of diseases. Now, I personally know a lot of aging athletes who are interested in this application of CRISPR technology to treat a wide variety of neck and knee ailments. Hopefully this is coming, folks, because I can see this in my future as well. When you look at all the research that CRISPR Therapeutics is involved in, some of the diseases that could be alleviated with this technology include the big ones, diabetes and Parkinson's disease. And CRISPR Therapeutics isn't stopping there. Along with their partners at Vertex Pharmaceuticals, the company is currently looking into a wide range of in vivo methodologies that could improve the treatment of genetic diseases such as Duchenne muscular dystrophy and cystic fibrosis. I mean, just hearing about all of these possibilities gets me kind of excited about what the future holds. So although potential medical advancements are really exciting, we may not see practical applications for these technologies for five, maybe 10 years, and possibly even longer in some cases. What I will say though, is that the potential is very, very high, probably higher than reported, and I think that it's certainly something worth waiting for. So CRISPR Therapeutics has really had a rough start to 2021 in terms of stock price. After hitting an all-time high of $220 a share back in early January, CRISPR stock was down recently nearly 45% from those lofty highs. So in retrospect, those highs may have been a bit premature. There was a lot of excitement in the media surrounding the potential of their sickle cell treating drug, and that definitely played a part in the stock price increase. However, now that the hype has died down a little bit, is CRISPR Therapeutics at a level worth considering? Well, to be honest with you, it's hard to say for sure. Just like with any biotechnology company, it's actually hard to say where your entry point is because so much depends on what gets approved by the FDA, whether or not the drugs are actually successful. And to a degree, any investment in a biotechnology company as an individual investment is going to be a bit speculative. But when you're investing in biotechnology companies, you're not in it for a quick buck. You have to think long term. And with the potential release for CRISPR-related drugs being years away, you really have to think long-term. Thinking about the company from a long-term perspective is really going to be vital in keeping you on track mentally if you're going to be invested in this stock. There is something that's really worrying about their financials right now. Q4 revenues were down 99.52%. Yes, 99.52% from the same period last year. That's not a typo, folks. What's more, annual revenues declined 99.75% between 2019 and 2020. Now, you're probably thinking that can't be right, right? Nah, it is actually. Let me provide some context though. 2019 revenue figures were much higher due to collaboration revenues generated through their previously mentioned partnership with Vertex Pharmaceuticals. This company really, in a lot of ways, for a lot of products, is at a pre-revenue stage and really is still in research mode. However, with no guaranteed revenue coming in and no definitive date in sight for, for any potential drug release, I can see why some people might be skeptical about investing in this stock now. And to be honest with you, I think you're going to have plenty of opportunities to buy on the lows from you know between now and the next couple of years. So what's the bottom line here? So my bottom line when it comes to CRISPR therapeutics is that it's actually one of the most promising companies in the world mainly down to the potential uses of their incredible gene editing technology. Looking at how useful it could be in treating various diseases, it can be easy to assume that this company is poised for greatness right away. However, if you dig a little deeper and you look at the numbers, they're telling you a completely different story. 
The revenue situation worries me at this point, much like a couple of other stocks I could mention right now, like QuantumScape. This company is really, in a lot of ways, in just a pre-revenue stage, and they're still doing a lot of research. And due to the nature of this type of business, it's hard to estimate when those revenues are going to be expected to increase. So do I think it's worth considering CRISPR therapeutics for an investment right now? I couldn't really say for sure one way or another. It's certainly more attractive an investment now than it was back in, uh, in January. And I guess it really depends on the type of investor you are. What I would say is that if you are looking to invest in CRISPR stock over the long period and you are a long-term buy and hold investor, then this price point right now might look fairly cheap you know, a decade from now. And you'd be doing so making this investment in the anticipation of what the future holds of this company rather than what the numbers are telling you right now. And you're really making this investment on the promise of that Cas9 technology. I agree with the pundits in this case when it comes to the potential that this company has, but I'll let you guys know that I don't actually own any CRISPR therapeutics as an individual holding at this point. I just own it through an ETF, which is ARK's genomic fund. I think it would hold off a little bit longer until we hear some news about timelines uh, in terms of when they expect the drugs that they're, they have in development to hit the market and start making revenue. And at that point, I would consider making uh, an individual investment in this stock. As always, folks, a huge thank you for watching my videos. If you could take just a second or two to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. And also let me know in the comments what you think about CRISPR therapeutics, the possibilities for this company. Are you as excited about the potential drugs that they're developing as I am or not? Finally, if you'd like more exclusive content or you want to take your knowledge of investing to that next level, think about joining my Patreon. It's only $5 a month and I'll leave a link in the comments below. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.